What's up guys? I hope you're well. Today we're checking out Still Game Season 5 Episode 4 Hard Nuts. Usually I drink a beer with the boys. I know, but today it's early. I'm going to have some coffee. At the time of the recording it's about 7:30 in the morning my time, so coffee it is. Let's get into it, shall we? Hey, hey. Paint, Jackie boy. We're getting a paint. Hey, you need to give me two ticks. I'm just working out our telewatching agenda for this evening. Oh, important business. Don't mind me. What have we got? Things run smoothly until ten past ten, and then we hit a bit of a snag. Hey, how so? Well, bare knuckle warriors. It doesn't finish to half past ten. That overlaps when pets go bad by twenty minutes. Mm. <laughs> That's a dilemma, right enough, cos... Well, Bare Knuckle Warriors doesn't get good till 20 minutes in. That's when you get the showdown after all the trash talk. Mental pets are out the window then? Eh? Hey, no, no, no. You can't do that to me. I love that show. It's always the same. Families with their eyes staring out their bloody heads because the dog's barking and driving them off their nut. <laughs> no, no, no. To me. To me. Ah, see? There they are. Tonight, to a me. family of squirrels make Martin the Postman's life a misery. Oh, that sounds good. Ooh. They can be bastard squirrels, eh? <laughs> okay, we'll watch Bare Knuckle Warriors on the understanding that if it's that Cockney wanker again, we'll bail it. Uh, I'm sick of that dozy bastard giving it the big and only to end up getting a bloody hiding at the end. Aye. Right, talk us through the itinerary. World's craziest cop car chases, half past seven, followed by executive cavemen. Oh, is that the one where the yuppies have to live like cavemen? Yep. Aye. Uh. Oh, I like that. Aye, that's good. Next. Uh, Bare Knuckle Warriors, and then when pets go bad, as per discussed. And the evening is rounded off by a new programme. Uh, episode Ooh. one, it's a thing about surgeons that operate on um, women's downstairs business, make them feel better about themselves. What's it called? Beaver Builders. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give that one a mess, eh? Yeah. Oh my God. Right, there you have it. An evening's entertainment mapped out. <laughs> Not a single actor in sight. Aye. Good acting and riveting plot lines is so yesterday. Oh, yes. Real people, real lives, real shite. That's what it's all about. Basically television anymore, huh? Uh-oh. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> you pathetic old bastard. What a class act you are, huh? He's got a crumb in his beard. Oh, my God, Naveed. You are a mess. Sitting on the crapper, eating a bag of monster munch. <laughs> Chunk it in one end while squeezing it with the other. Just that charisma. What have you done to yourself, you prick? <laughs> Nearly 60 and humped. <laughs> Where is Naveed? Where is the prince? The man? Is he in there? Is he buggery? He jumped on the stallion and rode away many years ago. Leaving this saggy husk of an asshole to perform the duties. <laughs> and look at this face. Mm -hmm. Once a face of purpose. Now simply. Oh! oh cow. Fucking Mina. Hello, Mr. Harry. Oh, hello. Taylors. Yes, I've taken over from George. Just Very do nice. reorder of the cold meats then, yeah? Mm hmm. What a result. Sorry? That they should replace one as ugly as George. What with the <laughs> neck lump, the golf ball nose, the comb over and the breath with someone so breathtaking. Oh, God, Naveed. <laughs> is that a piece of monster munch stuck in your brain? <laughs> yes, it is a piece of a monster munch. Oh. Oh, I knew he was going to eat it. Gross. Still got it. <laughs> I absolutely love Naveed. I think he's one of my favorite characters in the show. He's really, uh, character's really grown a lot and really grown on me. He and Isa. Isa, too. I love Isa anymore. Dominos. Where are the daps? Can't even bother with daps. Mm. We're arsing about with the letters in Bobby's price board. Again? Come on, lads. Who's round? Well, I got a fortune, mm -hmm. and you got yours. Yeah. 
Tom. Ah, uh, dirty bastard. Fucking bastard. He moves like a cat. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Thanks, Bobby. Bobby. They need to put a bell on Tom <laughs> so they know where he is at all times. You up to date with your tele license? Of course. Hey. Well, there's a specky bastard floating about outside. Uh oh. He's just got out a dark blue van. Oh, he's coming in. That can't be good, whatever it is. <laughs> Your landlord about? Yes, that's me. Can I have a word? Sure. Uh oh. He's in trouble. Hi, Didn't appear the owner. Bill. I work for Wilden Productions, and we make this show about pubs all over the country. Mm. You know, pubs with character. Oh, right. I've been wrecking about Craig Lang, and it seems to be a bit of a place, eh? Oh, right. It's about your place, eh? And this seems to be the main pub in Craig Lang. It's the only pub. I... Yeah. <laughs> I guess what I'm asking is, would you be up for us filming in here? Talking to some of the customers. Yourself, of course. And we pay everyone who appears on camera. And, of course, yourself for being the landlord. Ooh. What? You mean money? <laughs> yeah. Money. Aye, that's, that's great, eh? So, can I come back with my crew later when it's busier? Great, aye, when it's busier. Uh, and it will be busier. It will be a, a lot busier. I'll make sure it. Well, I'll, I'll no need to make sure it, because, uh, uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll be busy. <laughs> <laughs> and you're? Uh, Bobby. Bobby. Nice to meet you, Bobby. Bobby. I'll see you later. I don't like his demeanor. I don't like that, that guy's demeanor Bobby? at all. What was all that about? Says he wants to film in here. He's heard the pub's full of character. This bro. Ah. He wants to capture <laughs> it on film for some TV show. Here? This pub. <laughs> ah. All the part are and characters and good times rolling and atmosphere. This pub. Can you stop saying this pub? Two, three, four, five. Thank you. Hey, you pair. That's me, a baby. Do you mind me to deal with that smoking bucket in the feet? Just leave it there. I'll get it. Cheerio, bye. Cheerio, bye. You don't want me in there, have you? What is it you're doing in the feet? Nothing. Go home. Taking a shite? Is she gone, me now? <laughs> I'm coming out. Don't laugh. Have a bit laugh, Navit. Oh, 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 what have you done? You're a film star. Oh, oh my God. What a difference. But, let's see. You've died, that. Yeah, bye. What do you think? What's that? Shut. What's that? Certain. Touch it. No, thanks. <laughs> uh, no, I wouldn't have had to. It's lovely. And the chest. Uh, oh, hanging it still very much. Uh, <laughs> very much grey. And d d different to the hair. <laughs> Do you Damn. think I should have done that as well? Oh, no, I, 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 I wouldn't know. I mean, where do you stop? Would you have to do your wee pubies and all? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, never mind all that. Uh, On a scale uh, of one to ten, how do I look? He's a... Right, a... Ten? Is it to be ten? Ten. Do you hear that, Minna? Ten out of ten. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that right? He looks but like let a wanker. Tell you something. This dick has let its life for too long. This dick is going to have some me time. <laughs> he is definitely having a midlife crisis right now, isn't he? That's not good. I'm on a verge. I mean, I'm 40. Uh, there are things I'm adjusting in my life that take better care of myself. So, kind of understand where uh, Navid is going through just the realization of one's age can be kind of depressing. This tech is going to live a little, live a lot, live at large. Tomorrow, I'm going to be the biggest deck in Craig Lang. Right, let's get in there and set up.
He's chugging a leader. This is no good. No, mate, this isn't what we're after at all. Get a rest, eh? Mm -hmm. What an atmosphere, eh? There's plenty, Arthur. <laughs> you got a saying wheel? This. Sorry. I've wasted your time. Listen, look. Thanks anyway, mate. Uh oh. Leo! What exactly is it you're looking for? Fights? Look, the thing is, mate. Chaos. The program's called Light These Hardest Boozers. I should have said up front. A lot of people shy away once they hear that. They don't want their pubs tainted. You thought this place was a beer pit? Well, yeah. It's bang smack in the middle of a shithole. Mm -hmm. Wait just a minute. This place is a beer pit. You just came in the wrong night. Oh, yeah? Oh, yes. Hmm. You see, there's uh, a code between the hard men of Craig Lang and... Uh, well, that code is that, uh, you know, we just let all the old guys, all the... Feathers, have a wee night out and mm -hmm. we let them be. All the other nights, you know, we just are in the usual hard cell. So it all kicks off in here on Friday night. Oh, yes. Jesus, yeah. yeah. Friday, yeah. Big style. Ah. What are the psychos and villains? No. Oh, oh Jesus, he's going to invite all the hooligans <laughs> in. <laughs> Whoa. That's just what they're after. Bottom line is that um, I'm the daddy. <laughs> Brilliant. You see that? Mm -hmm. No. That. What? That. That there. Scar. Right. Just a regular Friday night in here. Amora. Is that us humped off the telly, eh? No. Quite the opposite, Victor. We're coming back the morrow. Mm, I'm getting fed up. I can go it. No. Listen. It's Blighty's Hardest Boozers. Oh. That's a big show now. Aye, we never miss that. Aye. That's prime time. Aye. Mm -hmm. We could end up being stars. Aye, right, aye. Us? <laughs> aye, aye. Remember her that couldn't he drive? She was never off the telly after that. Mm -hmm. Real people, real arseholes. That's what they're looking for. Yeah. <laughs> Magazines, chat shows. Aye, uh, yeah. that's uh, Russell Harty. Oh, that'd be a bit of a one-sided conversation, Jack, with him deed about 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, it's Parkinson you want. Parky. I wouldn't have silly myself with Parky. He's too old now. Maybe back in the Muhammad Ali days, aye, but... No, oh, no. The old bastard never listens now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that, Jack. You can't be too choosy, you know. Fame's a fickle mistress. You see, what you need is, you need your Jonathan Ross. He gets all your, your young ones in, you know. Then Judy and Richard, that takes care of all your bored housewives. Mm -hmm. Your Bobby. Yeah. Would you do Graham Norton? Aye. I'd do Graham Norton in a second. <laughs> <laughs> Lost? Is that you? Hi. What? Nothing. What are you doing in here? I've well, come in to gamble money. Well, well, well easy, Tiger. Get your stash away. You allowed to gamble? What are Absolutely you, Absolutely midlife hey. crisis. <laughs> well, what is it you want to gamble on? Oh, well, that's it. You see, don't have a Scooby. Come here. See that board there? That's your choices. Pick one. Mickey the Mutt. Yeah, no, that's the dugs, Navid. No satisfaction in a dug. It's over too quick. Harry Hoofter. Oh, look at the throaty wee bands. <laughs> Harry Hoofter. <laughs> 51. 
That's just known in here, Navid, as a mug's bet. Mm -hmm. You're just dipping your toe in the water. But what you're looking for is a nice wee favourite, you know? Something that's got any chance of coming in. Oh, sure, you'll not win a fortune, but a win's a win. How do you hope to win? Christ, Navid! That horse is 50 to 1! And they're off. Oh, Jesus, they're off. Here oh, we go. Like is making a clean start there. And nothing to show here for him. Captain Danny looking well today. Fitting, fitting well after the last uh, outing. It's going to be that buggy. Well, 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 you gone. Uh, no, no, you need to watch the race. This is a good bit. Yep. Yep. Jollies. <laughs> it's going to win. Now it's a good bet. How are you feeling? Empty. Aww. Hollow. What to get into it? Where you're horses out there knocking its pan and get a bit of backing, man. Come on, my beauty. Make haste and run like the wind. <laughs> uh, good guy, but a wee bit flowery for good the bookies. Good start. I mean, hey, not bad. Run faster, horse. Come on, jockey. Better loosen up. Come on, enjoy it. Feel it. Feel it down here. Come on, Harry Upton. You can do it. Good, good. Aye, that's it, you lazy bastard. I can lose that. You that stuck me, man. Back to the shack, don't they? Come on, Harry Upton. Come on. Come on, yes. Come on. Pay up, the sheep shagger. Danny, what's that one? 510 quid. Oh, nice. This is better than sex. <laughs> Put the lot on Harry up to the game. No, no, no. no. <laughs> That's enough. Nope, nope. <laughs> I really like that pipe. Who do you suppose makes a hard pub? Easy. Punters. Heavies. The no-nonsense merchants. They don't care because they don't have to watch their backs. Ah, because nobody's got the cojones to come after them. Yeah, that quiet confidence that comes with being completely off your nut. Gentlemen, observe. <laughs> oh, I, I got it, aye, aye, aye. You've had a stroke, but you're that John high. Wayne! You can still walk. No! I'm walking like big John Wayne in the Duke. You're walking yeah. like you've got the Duke of your guiles. <laughs> I'm the perfect blueprint for a hard man. Oh, aye. How so? Well, Victor's a big fella, right? But how did the saying go? Mm -hmm. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. True. Whereas, see me. I'm squat. I'm sturdy. Clyde built with a low <laughs> centre of gravity. <laughs> Doesn't matter what you throw at me. Maybe you can lay anything on me. <laughs> You sit your ass down, you calm down, buddy. <laughs> you listen to me, a couple of wankers. It's in your blood. Mm. I swear to your fae. Being hard is about what you are willing to gee up. See, you two could come at me right now. And yes, for sure, in the end, you'd probably get the better of me. Mm-hmm. But there's one certainty. In the melee, one ease is going to lose an eye. Question is... Who? Who's it going to be? <laughs> oh, that was good one to say. They scared the there. shit out of them, that's so funny. Well acting the hard man in here, though, eh, isn't it? So you want to say cameras are on you, but... My ass would collapse. Mm -hmm. My throat's gone dry at the thought of that the new. Not a bit of it. Nah, when you feel that camera on you, Winston, you don't think about the millions watching. Mm -hmm. It's your friend. Right. Yep. I mean, you're aware of it, in that, right? But you just ignore it. Mm -hmm. That way, you can appear natural. Oh, aye. Exactly. Wayne on telly's easy, Winston. How the hell would you know? <laughs> because we have previews. Issue about drinking coffee with like long sleeve on and you know this on. Woof! I'm just fixing. I'm hot. I'm hot. Let's see their five minutes of fame. Five seconds of fame. Now we've got a letter from Irene Den Woody in Kirkintilloch. Hello, Irene. Getting a garden planted up. Would like to know what to do with her chrysanthemum. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what to do with it. Was that it? Uh, 
Uh, but they look natural. They're eating rice. Come here again. Garden planted up. Would like to know what to do. There you are. You see what we're doing there? Completely natural. Yep. Not phased in any way, shape, or form. Exactly. Uh, you're not phased in any way, shape, or form because you don't know the cameras on you, you couple of dozy pricks. Of course <laughs> we do. That's the illusion. Yep. Oh, aye, I'm hearing you, aye. I'm hearing you. I'm also hearing the words of a Mr. Andy Warhol who said everybody will have their 15 minutes of fame. <laughs> and judging by your last outing, you've still got another 14 minutes and 59 seconds to look forward to, you <laughs> <laughs> Lads, what? Need a favour. What? Come to the clansman tonight. Listen, us desperate old bastard. The clansman's full of pissy old pensioners. We drink crystals down Park Mall. I know, hey, but you. just you know, come along, stone about, get a biggin. You'll be in the telly. Blight his hardest boozers. Do we get to batter anybody? No, I, I chase you out because I'm a bit of a ticket and everybody's supposed to be fair to me. <laughs> Fear for you? I mean, you're gonna need real good actors, cos you're a fud. Oh, uh, Wow. Make it worth your while. Oh, aye. Three can of Coke and a bag of crisps. For each cheese. <laughs> what, you only had that over? Ten or a skull? Right. Hey, lads. How good are these, huh? These chips, how good are they? Man, oh man. <laughs> you alright, David? Never better, Bobby, my man. Mm -mm. I'm having a cracker. He's losing his shit. <laughs> Get it, David. Yeah! The beats get down! How come I've never seen you in my shop? Well, I I'm needing brillo pads. <laughs> Bobby. Aye? What's happening, mate? How do you mean? Well, it's not exactly kicking off, is it? Oh, no, it never does. To eight o'clock! Right. Oh, for Christ's sake. I've warned you, we fudge before. Watch what you're doing. Or what? <laughs> or what? Uh oh. Here we go. Bobby. Sticking up the joint. Jack. Victor. Bobby. Have the McGills been in? <laughs> no. And I'm no expecting them. Good. We'll not be needing these then. <laughs> oh, jeez. Look at you staring at, eh? You're funny. Yeah, you're a dick. You're a dick. You're under the thumb, and you're a prick. <laughs> <laughs> 180. Take out of there. I will. Well then. Get the pint paid for. No. Here's the money, Tom. No. Yes. David? Get us a drink, Bobby. What? Find a drink, Naveed. 
Alcohol. Mm -hmm. A really large whiskey. We normally call that a double whiskey, Navid. Mm -hmm. It's not a normal day, Bobby. Right. All my life I have avoided the poison. But today, I'm taking a walk on the wild side. <laughs> He just got busted. Uh oh. I'm on top of the world. <laughs> my creation is the only explanation I can find. Oh my Me god. Now, cause the love that I found ever since you've been around. Your love put me at the top of the world. Oh! Kill the night. Uh, Bobby, this is the tamest pub we've ever filmed. All you've done, mate, is waste my time. Mm -hmm. This is sadly. Two old pensioners with swords. A guy who froze and farted on camera. <laughs> a sissy argument about who's paying for a pint. And a woman carrying a man who's had one drink out of a pub. Mm -hmm. You don't qualify, mate. Jack. Here we go. Here's the bruiser. <laughs> Been a heavy. Heavy's off. You want something else? Heavy's off. What sort of dump is this? I'll tell you what sort of dump this is. This is a sort of dump that when the heavy's off, you have something else. Unless you've got a problem with that, you prick. No problem, mate. I don't want any trouble. He's a Bex. Bex it is. Smart man. Lager. I'm busy. What? Are you deaf? I'm serving somebody. Are you talking to me, a dick? <sighs> Jesus, not another one. Listen, <laughs> why don't you stand there like a good wee lassie until I'm ready to serve you, you walloper? And if you have no hand. Who said? Eh? Who said, you dick? Uh oh. Oh no! <laughs> okay then. <sighs> Twice more. Your pal's good, eh? My pal, Tom. I don't know who that guy My is. My pal couldn't make it. Uh oh. His sister's up at the hospital. Oh, so who's. Dynamite, mate. Dynamite. Right, I'll punch in the guts. You could do my circus spot, right? What? Right, you! I warned you not to come the hard man in my show! Ow! No. Wait. Oh! <laughs> gotcha, Bobby. <laughs> and that's what makes this pub one of bloody's oldest boozers. Nice. Oh, jeez, Bobby got I'm not off it. He got screwed up. Completely hard than that. Yeah. That boy's done some job putting that together, hasn't he? And anybody watching that wouldn't want to mess with us, huh? Eh? <laughs> yeah. Ah, it was fun getting a big in, eh? Yeah, well, back to reality now. Mm-hmm. Bobby, you got those dominoes there? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Let's see how hard these bastards really are. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a good episode. That's funny, man. They got they got their little TV time in the, the Bar Bruiser show. Naveed lost his mind. Uh had a midlife crisis. It looks like um uh Mina brought him down, literally brought him down with a nice pu punch to the uh, growing, carrying, uh, carrying him out of the bar. But great episode. I enjoyed it. Um, this whole season's been a lot of fun. I've been enjoying this whole season uh, from the get-go. I love this show, uh, and I look forward to uh, the next episode for sure. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well. But, yeah, the 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 
one second of fame for uh, Jack and Victor's great sitting on the bench eating uh, ice cream. I loved it. The great episode, very well put together, very funny. With that being said, I want to thank you all for watching. Stay safe, and don't forget to wash your hands. Bye.